What you need to understand is that pre-code movies were wild. Hello, fellow humans. Welcome back. So given that it's the first month of the year, let's talk about a movie from the first decade of the last century. It makes sense, right? It makes sense. Maybe next month we can talk about a movie from the 1920s. If you want to see that, let me know. The movie we're going to be talking about is called I Don't Want to Be a Man, or more accurately, Ich mochte kann man sein, because this is a German movie from Ernst Lubitsch. Lubitsch eventually left Germany in 1929 and went on to become regarded as one of Hollywood's most refined and sophisticated directors, which is really surprising to hear after watching this movie. What you need to understand is that pre-code movies were wild. Let me set the stage for you. So when the first projectors were developed in the 1890s, it was the wild west of cinema. Directors were allowed to make pretty much whatever they wanted. And so all of these prim and conservative notions that we have of old times is really a reflection of what we were allowed to see on the screen after the 1930s. One of Lubitsch's films was actually pulled from circulation for over three decades after the MPPC. A critic at the time once said of his films, At once, elegant and ribald, sophisticated and earthy, urbane and bemused, frivolous yet profound, they were directed by a man who was amused by sex rather than frightened of it, and who taught a whole culture to be amused by it as well. On that note, back to the movie. We open on our eponymously named character, Aussie. So you got this gal. She's a real free spirit. She smokes. She drinks. She flirts. She gambles. She disrespects her elders, who are not very respectable themselves. Because this is the 1910s, even though she's clearly old enough to take care of herself. I think the actress was 22 at the time of the movie's release. She's in the care of this governess, who is a little bit of a Karen, if you ask me. Her parents are MIA, and her uncle is the counselor of commerce. And when he gets called away on business, Aussie starts living her best life. Now, obviously, people being happy greatly upsets Karen. She feels like she needs to call in reinforcements. Enter Dr. McDreamy. Now, Karen is all hot and bothered by this good doctor but that's completely beside the point. Right away, Aussie is all, fool, you can't control me. But the good doctor has some kind of animal magnetism. And clearly, he and Aussie are enjoying this role-playing scenario that they've got going on. And at one point, he's all, I'm gonna break you down, down to here. You think this is maybe fixing to be like a My Fair Lady plot line. But then, Aussie goes and decides that she's gonna become a rather dashing young man. She gets herself a brand new suit, proceeds to charm Karen all into a fluster, and she's off to the ball. Literally off to a ball. One of the things that this movie is surprisingly progressive about is that it shows both genders being negatively affected by gender norms. Then you have the fact that as a man, Aussie is quite the hot commodity at this ball. I mean, when we think about sexy androgyny, Usually we think about the 1980s, glam rock. We're not thinking about a 102-year-old silent film. Oh, and here's the kicker. Aussie runs into Dr. McDreamy at the ball. He's completely deceived by her disguise. They start broing out and, I mean, you know how the brotherhood is. The really progressive thing about this is that there's no shame or scandal about these two male presenting figures having a smooch and a snuggle way out in public. Then in a classic mix up before it was classic, they wake up in each other's beds. Our doctor is still completely clueless until Aussie reveals herself and she slams him with the line, I will break you down, down to here. I love that there's absolutely no indication that Aussie is going to give up her wild spirit or any part of her nature. She's not going to become a refined young lady or anything like that. 
And then they start making out again, because Aussie doesn't eat enough apples, apparently. Get it? Because an apple a day keeps the doctor away. Oh, I'll see myself out. Hey, fellow humans. I hope you enjoyed watching this video as much as I enjoyed making it. I'd like to make more of these longer videos, so if you want to see more content like this, it really helps the almighty algorithm if you like and subscribe, and even leave a comment below. What do you think? Would you watch this movie? Until next time, make something that makes you happy.